everyone, it's AJ Van Rixdale and it is time for a, another video. Now in today's video, what I actually plan on doing is a bit of a revisit to the Mark Crilly's manga art. So what I intend to do today is do one of the Your Turn segments that were present in Mark Crilly's manga art. So. As I mentioned on my review a few a month or so ago, there are little sections in the in in the book, and there are also parts where it says your turn. So these are little prompts for you to be able to do some sort of work and learn something from manga art. And this was one of the most important bits I felt was about this book. It wasn't just about showing off Mark Crilly's art; it was about showing uh, how you can do it too. So in today's video, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do this little section where it talks about photo reference. So about using photo reference to create an illustration of your own. Now, this isn't just about copying the, the, the image that you see. This is about taking parts of that image and putting it into the, the thing to make it a more realistic approach. So I'm going to be using this particular photo and then creating that. I'm going to do this as a time lapse because I can't sit and talk unfortunately like um, Mark Crilly does all the time on his videos. Uh, but as I'm doing that I'll do some commentary as I'm going through. So let's begin. To begin I started by lightly sketching this photograph just to get a rough idea of the shapes and then I started to go into adding a bit more detail. I used the image just purely for reference to get the ideas of where things one needed to go so i used it for like the perspective and the various different subjects in the image so i did it for the locks and things now if i hadn't had this photo to use i don't think i would have been able to have gotten all of the details on the locks such as the white bars that come up from the top as the handrails and just various different bits I did use some of my own artistic or well, creative uh, freedom to add bits to the boat just to give it a bit more, a bit different. And I also wanted to uh, do that with regards to the colour as well. So I wasn't particularly uh, authentic with the colour of the boat that was on the picture, but I did make sure that for like the lock and things, I made sure that that was. Uh, like the black lock with the white ends at the top there. Uh, I also decided to use two different image photos as well, just to add a bit of difference, uh, just to kind of like make a nice composition. So I found like this sort of scrap heapy type place, uh, which had uh, crushed cars and stuff. So I had taken a photo of that and I used this as part of the image for Af before the uh, af just af just before the bridge, and then I also used uh, this sort of like warehousey type place to the left ha right hand side of the image as well. Once I had got the rough outlines done, I scanned this in onto the computer and then start and printed it back off again and then went over that work with uh, ink pen. I used um, Pigment Micro 03 initially and then on some of the areas I went over on 08. I took a bit of time doing this because I wanted to just get the details with the, with the ink pen there. Um, once I'd done that, I then scanned that in again and then printed this off on watercolour paper because I wanted to do it in watercolour.
So once I have the watercolour paper uh, printed with this image, I then started to apply bits of watercolour. I wanted to do it a nice little light wash to begin with and then build up. I, as I said before, used different sort of colours with regards to the boat and also I kind of made it a bit more sort of stylized for the water and things. I didn't do complete photorealism, but this was more about using the images for reference to get finer details and things. Mark Crilly's Manga Art is available on Amazon. If you haven't already checked it out, do so on the link below. I also posted a review, which you can also check on the link below, and there was also some cards of it appearing on the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it, and I can't wait to use Mark Crilly's Manga Art even more uh, to help create artworks like this and others in the future. I do say go and check it out, it is a, it is a great book to, to read and even if you just want to look at the art, it's, it's even great for that and it's reasonably priced as well. So until next time, ta -ra.